Today's the day we gotta load up the SVJ. Ply car transportation is here, ready at the Hard Rock to take the car all the way back to Huntington Beach, California, back to the shop. David? David disappeared and I had an elevator. Anyhow, I guess I have a big decision to make. Do I leave the now iconic gumball livery on for a little while or tear it off and do something new? Not that important here. Oh, we definitely need our uh, award for fast and loud to go in the car back to the shop. That will go on display and soon after all the renovations are done, people will be able to come to a Cars and Coffee and actually walk through the shop and see some of the memorabilia such as this. So here's a question, do we keep delivery from Gumball on for a while. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I think he's right. It's so cool. Final cold start here in Miami and then we're gonna load her up. The next time we see this beautiful girl, it'll be back in California. <laughs> This car needs a little bit of service stuff for that. Yeah. Did really good though. You do gumball and immediately it comes on and says service due. It's it knows. Gumball service due. That would be funny actually. That'd be really funny. So. All right, it's time. Ply car is already here. Look at this, right in ballet. <laughs> He's over to this trusted gentleman. <laughs> it's all yours. all yours. Are you driving this to California? I wish. No, I'm just a local driver. You're a local all your I love LA though. Local, <laughs> local pickup. Local pickup. It's all yours. All Next right. time we see her, California. We're out. We gotta catch a flight. See ya. Get some breakfast, get a coffee. And you guys come with us on the adventure and you'll see her back at the DDHQ. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Fly Car. Number one trusted brand in the business for transportation. Number one, they have the proper Insurance. You don't want your million dollar car going with just any transport, trust me. The automobile is going back as well, and look how dirty. Look how disgusting Mike Hall is. <laughs> Suntan lotion, Nerf gun, and just booze. Just booze everywhere. Just booze everywhere. Packed, packed, packed. Ready? Got the gear on. Hold on, hold on. Thanks to all the sponsors. Our flight literally is in 45 minutes. Shut up. Are you serious? All right, guys. Miami, we'll be back. We'll be back. Look at this. We didn't even get to use the pools, but look how beautiful it is out now. It was like a crazy storm. And, uh, well, it's gone now, but we gotta go. We gotta go back to Canada, you guys. Then we're going back to California. We have a little surprise maybe in Canada. I'm not sure. We have to see. The boys from August, by the way, are coming back with us. They're gonna be on our flight. Go forget your sunglasses. <sighs> People were like, those are hideous. I'm on a gas station, but didn't reference it in the vlog. I think it looked good though. Not so much. Donut marks. I think that was from the French police. We. Oui. Oui, 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 they were oui. wild. They were wild. What was your favorite memory from Gumball? Oh man, I think the biggest thing with rallies is it's a blur until you get home as a week. We just have to digest the memories because things happen so quickly. Number one, it's just the bucket that's checking the box of doing Gumball and meeting Gumballers and being part of that club. Back when I worked for your marketing company in 2000, when we were 16, I made a vision board and all in there I wanted to go to New York one day. That was my big goal five years ago. Yeah. And I paid a picture of New York, but it was a Gumball. In New York. I didn't know that when I made the picture. And you're like, yeah, that's a gumball rally. I was on my vision board in 2016. That's cool. So I've not even been to New York, but I've also done gumball. So time to make a new vision board. Wanna go to New York? We've been there together. You wanna go? Let's go again. Actually, I've only been there for a few hours. I wanna go there again and actually experience New York. If you're from New York and wanna host us, we eat a lot and we overstay our welcome. So oh, Dave, I'll leave your number here in the comments below. 310. Good to go. Good to go. In Miami International Airport, ladies and gentlemen. And I put it on seats. All I got is certified trunk beaters. Charge a couple cool K for the features. It ain't about the money, then you probably can't reach us. Hey, and I put it on mama. Do it for the soul, for the f back. Toronto. We have a long day. That was three hours, the next one's five hours. The last one's 40 minutes. But what's cool is the next flight with Air Canada, we got the sleeper pods. So we got like, that. Dave's never done that. So it's gonna be a, an experience you're for Dave. You're family money, so you've done this since you're a baby. I've never experienced That's right. Yeah, that's Family wealth. Damon Vandernook. Damon Vandernook, I like that. <laughs> that's the coolest name ever. 
we were in the lounge and I know Mike and Matt are in here probably partying still even though they said they're gonna go to rehab after gumball oh look at this hey hey on hey, how's it going happening? boys good buddy what's in that that's a very small cup of uh just pop <laughs> it's just pop yeah it's you just pop. Yeah, party going on. Oh my god, you could clean paint out the car with that. I thought you guys said you're going to rehab after <laughs> gumball. I, I am. We're not there yet. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take it off slowly. <laughs> I can't just come quick clean. I started to shake on the plane. He's not joking either. Did you tell Cousins all the brought down in the US? All those Louis Vuitton shoes you're buying? My weapons. Did you tell Cousins? <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, good luck getting on the next play with that one. Let's go get a drink. Let's, Let's, we can get him. Let's see who can't get on the next flight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's play that game. Well, here we go. Now this is Toronto to Vancouver. And this is a big one for Dave because this is very first, first class sleeper suites, or you can call it like business class, whatever. These actually lay completely flat in your own private pod. If you don't mind, just a little tiny here. Yeah, yeah. I'll put this on my back. Oh, come on, a little pod, guys. Look at this. Leg room. All right, Casey, next time, let's get a seat review. First of all, I have a screen right here. Got a bottle of water. I got my touch screen. I can change the lighting in here. Oh, you're moving something on my feet. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? I'm moving my, my seat. You're going to make me lay flat? So you're like at the dentist right now. Yes. <laughs> well, actually, yeah. When Dim and I flew to Japan, we flew ANA, and we, were, we couldn't afford to pay for the fancy seats like this. We flew a regular. And it's still five thousand dollars a person. Got a full full size headset, not earbuds. So you want to watch your movie? It actually shuts the noise out. It's got way better audio. Just so you know, that's the right, that's the left. How's your flight? I slept first time in pods. You like that? A regular seat, to be honest. Okay, that's what I'll get you next time. Economy. We are back. Mike and Matt, we're all going on a little plane together. Yeah. You know what? The safety rating in these planes, I don't know why they still run them. Oh, they're yeah. not very good. You're such a right? bad. They're bad. It's, it's like something like, like, it's, it's like two out of five crash. We're on the little propeller, dual propeller one, right? It's like yes. a pack of gum with wings. Two out of five crash. Billionaire Mike Hall is super scared of flying. So David, I thought we'd pull a little prank on him on this last little leg of the, the journey today. Small plane, can tell him it's a little unstable. Yeah. Okay, the pilot says it's not good. F that. I'm not getting on that. You go first. You go first. If you'll get on, because once you get on, they won't let you off. They won't let you off. No, 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 no. I got a little something for you in case you're not feeling okay, you know? No, he doesn't use that. He uses his hat. <laughs> you get lucky. This is a good plane. It is. It's like you're just a little cheap thing and it's all. It's a real jet. Yeah, it's actually like a business class. This is not what we normally take. I'm just a little twi turbo prop. A lot more volatile in the air. Thank sir. You. Sir. Zero, you get in there. <laughs> what a time. I had a great time. <laughs> the boys are back in town. The boys Cheers. are back in town. We are back in Kelowna. A little surreal. We're out of the uh, gumball bubble, boys. Look at billionaire Mike Hall. He is in work attire. We got to get you in gumball merch. Stuff. Dave? Dude, what a trip. So crazy. What was like, your favorite thing about gumball? It's a blur. Like, everything. Every stop had something crazy that was just as awesome as the next stop. Like, it was cool. Everything was awesome. Because this is your first... Talladega. Major Talladega. rally. I love Talladega. I you, love... you were scared to get in the car, though. I know, but it was cool to see, because <laughs> I love that movie. He's so nervous, like, screaming the whole time. Jump over the wall in your underwear and run around like you're no, on fire. I was almost that close to doing it though. Any conversations yet about doing another one? Yes, we we would do the one in the UK probably. You want to do the one in Europe? Yeah. I think we're gonna do Middle East, and then we're gonna do the one in Europe too. I think yeah. we're gonna do every gumball we can. It's. I awesome. think we're addicted to gumball. Yeah, I am. My liver's not though. You, yeah, a choice. That is a choice. That what? is a choice. The SVJ was amazing. It was amazing. Your yeah. car performed flawlessly. Yeah. Would it be fun to use the same car or do a different car? What would you do? I loved that car, like performance, mm -hmm. um, handling. That car, I felt safe doing yeah. the speeds we were doing at five five miles an hour over. Yeah. Would you take the same car on another gumball or would you want a different experience? I'd take the same car. That's so exactly you would collect I'm... gumball rallies on one car. So at the end, it would be like the gumball. You'd have your own spirit of gumball trophy to put up. Here. <laughs> exactly. I completely beat the shit 
765 LT exactly. at some point. Yeah, with 200,000 kilometers. And a whole bunch of <laughs> a whole bunch of different numbers. A whole bunch of numbers and Cheetos under the seat. That would be pretty cool. All your beef jerky saved up, molding under the seats, full of fart smell, and yeah, that'd be great. Sweat and abuse. Dave and I were thinking we would like to do maybe a different car, to have a different experience. So that means buying more cars. What if we talked about doing another car? What cars would we do? A Ford GT would be sick. We've never had a Ford GT. The coolest thing about the Ford GT is we know it's reliable because, speaking of gumball, you guys got to meet Tim, Shmi 150, cool guy. Very cool. Sorry about shooting you with the uh, Nerf guns. Ah, uh, yeah, you nailed him. He was trying to do a video. Shmi does like a one take. He doesn't try to do some as much editing as possible so he can get videos out quickly. And Matt shot him and he was not happy. <laughs> no, really? And speaking of four GTs, let me destroy the last little bit of his tires at the Hoonigan Burnyard. And I came within inches while doing a few donuts of a barricade, if you haven't seen that video. That would be a great car. There are other great cars in this showroom in the background. You'll have to wait until the next video to see what they are. Thank you so much for all your support along the gumball route coming out and saying, hi to Matt, Dave, Mike, and myself. We love all you guys. Smash the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. Do we buy a Ford GT, Ferrari Pista? Do we buy a P1? Do we buy a Koenigsegg? Bronco. Nobody knows. Maybe we buy a Bronco. Let's go to the bar right now. As, as you do. Do, do the dance. Do the dance. Do the dance with the water. No, no, water. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next one.